Hey, this is Mirgloff, and I'm back for the Super Hardcore Flat World Challenge. And as I recall, we were in the Nether, making our way towards... Uh, these guys are still angry at me. We were making our way back to the... Uh, my original Nether portal area. And on the way, I was killing these guys. So it has been a while. About a couple of weeks since I've made one of these videos. I've been dealing with stuff that's kind of important. Sorry that I haven't been making too many of uh, my regular videos. I've done a few BGSF videos. Uh, let's try and figure out which direction I need to go. Okay, so in this general direction. I think... I shouldn't get lost. Ouch. Pretty risky. Stupid gas. He should have died in that lava. All right. And we've got 31 gold ingots, and we need to get 80 gold ingots total to make 20 gold blocks, which is the goal of this series. Let's see here. I uh, hope I'm going the right way. I'm trying to get my X and Z coordinates to... Come on. Direction, and now I've got swarms of them coming after me. I think. I heard lots of noise. Alright. In uh, my other series, I'll try to... Uh, oh, that looks familiar. That's good. Oh. Ah. These guys are tough. They're doing a lot of damage to me. Why am I not wearing these? It's a mystery to me. Uh, we'll go ahead and kill these guys, I suppose, just to get their gold nuggets before we return to the overworld. Dropped a gold ingot there, that's nice. Yeah, that's good enough. And we'll just... We gotta get... up there. So I'm gonna mine upwards a bit. Alright, I've made my way up here. It wasn't too much of a mining excursion. I don't really recognize this at all. It has been quite a long time since I've probably been in this area. And I'm hoping this is my original spot. I can't recall. But we're about to find out. Whoa, that's dangerous. Alright. Oh. Just gotta solve this danger problem here. Well, that's not helpful. Alright. Home sweet home. We can do some enchanting of the greaves. Actually, the chest plate's probably going to last longer. Let's see here. I got 16, so I want to go for 16. There we go. Alright, protection, that's good to have. We could probably make some iron armor stuff, and I'm going to get rid of this nether rack. It's not necessary. But 
that obsidian there. Okay. Don't need this wool or this door. Uh, this other stuff, I guess, is okay. And what I'm actually going to do is I am going to go back. That's interesting. I'm going to go back into the nether and kill more zombie pigmen. I just wanted to come to the overworld to make sure that I wasn't lost. And, but uh, the fastest way, at least the most efficient way, to get gold ingots is by killing these guys. It's considerably more dangerous though because of the ghasts. And the pigmen themselves can overwhelm me if I uh if I'm not paying attention. Specifically to my hunger bar. As my health will not regenerate. Ouch. I don't really like this spot though. It's kind of uh oh. It's much too open. A uh, ghast could easily come at me. And I know when I first came through this uh nether area for the first time, I found an area that was pretty good for uh killing zombie pigmen. I'm sure I would have left myself markers of some sort to find this area. I think it might have been up here. I guess I didn't leave any markers. How do I get up here? Did I come up this way? Huh. A little bit confused. Well, I see some wood blocks. I was probably using wood, which isn't as easy to see as cobblestone. Ouch. Dang, they really take my hunger down when they hit me. Okay, let's get this ready. Yeah, I don't really care much for this area either. Good way to get experience too, I suppose. Not that experience really matters much, other than maybe increasing my, uh, or making my armor better so that I live longer, especially through these dangerous encounters. Uh, oh, crap. So what kind of put a delay on making these kind of videos for a while, other than just uh, personal stuff I was solving, is that the uh, the issue of editing the Mirgloff builds videos specifically is fairly time consuming, not overwhelming, but I'm pretty tired lately as I, I think I've mentioned this before. I work in a lumber yard and uh, really the height, or at least when I started making the Mirgloff. With the Mirgloff builds videos, it was uh, around November when I started doing that. 
and uh, working in the lumberyard that I work in during those that time of the year, the uh, the fall and the uh, winter months is pretty slow, so it's not too labor intensive. However, now that uh, spring is picked up, uh, it's it's pretty labor intensive, and most nights when I come home, I pretty much just go to sleep. So it's a real time sucking thing. It's not all that fun, really. But, uh... It's my job. Oh, and it pays pretty well, so... Well, relatively, it doesn't pay well at all, but... Whoa, that's weird. But for me, it suits me, although I may be changing soon. Yeah, I definitely recognize this area. So I'm going to try and do as many Mirgloff builds videos as I can. Uh, the reason why I started picking these up again, even though uh, my free time hasn't really gotten any better, is because these videos, the hardcore flat world challenge videos, require very little to almost no editing at all, mostly because I don't, I really don't uh, cut very many scenes out because the whole nature of this, this series is watching and waiting for me to die, so if I were to do too much editing, you know, people would suspect that I was cheating in some way. So as a consequence, the time that it takes me to edit these videos is essentially just to render them and uh, title them. That takes about 10 minutes, as I recall. Not very long at all. And these uh, hardcore Flat World Challenge videos are pretty much just as popular as the the, uh, the Mirgloff Builds videos, so... I, I had been putting up uh, some videos of the BGSF Minecraft server that I uh, play on, although that's really more of a uh, thing that I do for the people who play on the server. As they're primarily people who watch those videos. But, uh, what, where am I at now? That looks pretty good, 31. I could divide 31 by 8 to determine, or 9 actually, divide that by 9 to determine how many gold ingots that is, but... I don't feel like it. So we're gonna have to find out. As soon as I craft them. And this video is a little bit, uh, well it's pretty action packed, but it's pretty much the same kind of action we've seen before. So what I'm gonna do for the next video, I will still be killing zombie pigmen, but the way I'll be doing that video is it'll be a time lapse of me killing them. And then after that, we'll return to the overworld to uh, go back to the essentials of the hardcore flat world challenge, which is finding NPC villages. Even though I know we just uh, got back from that long journey, well not not just got back, but relative to the timeline of these videos, that is. So let's craft these nuggets into ingots. Looks like maybe four. Yep, four ingots this video. Plus the uh, one that dropped was part of the rare drops. So we've increased five ingots in this video. That's pretty good. That's uh, out of 80, 
Uh, I'm gonna whip out a calculator here real quick. Out of 80, divided by 5, 16, that's 16th of the total goal. In this, what I would say, 15 minutes. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching these videos, and there will be more to follow. I promise that. And uh, thanks for watching. See you again soon. We'll just uh, leave here. All right.